A new Bernie Sanders ad has caught fire, going viral online over the past two days, approaching three million views. It's the very personal story of a man who went from extreme poverty on the south side of Chicago to becoming an award-winning teacher and principal. I saw that photograph of Bernie Sanders chained to a black woman protesting segregation in the 1960s. That photograph tells me more about his willingness to fight for the rights of all people than anything any politician has ever said. Being able to have a college education transformed my view of what I could be in this world. It shouldn't just be a small group of people who get access to that kind of experience. Every American, regardless of their income, should have access to a college education. Joining me now from Chicago is Troy LaRavier, the principal who was featured in Sanders' ad. Thanks so much for coming on with us. And the obvious question is, how did you come to do this ad for Bernie Sanders? Well, I've been pretty active in the um, Chicago political scene. I've spoken out quite a bit uh, on education policy. And so many of the progressive activists uh, were familiar with me and my work. And many of those progressive activists are involved in the Sanders campaign. So. You tell a very, very moving story about not going to college right out of high school because you didn't believe in yourself and how you became a teacher to help other people believe in themselves. So the appeal of Bernie Sanders' free college push makes sense, but I'm sure you know critics say he hasn't really explained how he'll pay for it, and frankly, they say we can't afford it. Could this be a case of, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is? Well, you know, my story is too good to be true. You know, who would have imagined that? You know, there's a piece in that story that, that's, that uh, I told in the interview that didn't make it into the, the uh, final cut. You know, we, ended, we talked for about 45 minutes. And, you know, I became, I was, my mother passed away. I talked about how my mother was um, um, kicked, basically kicked out of her community uh, because of the color of my oldest brother. And, you know, about 50 years later, I found myself interviewing at a school on the north side. And as I was traveling to the interview, I realized that I was about to be the principal of this school. I had a realization. Um, and, you know, tears came to my eyes. Um, and about a month later after the interview process ended, I was indeed hired to be the principal. And the thing that came to my realization was that 50 years ago, my mother had to leave this community because of the color of one of her sons. And 50 years later, another one of her sons was being brought back to this community, an all-white community, and being given one of the most important responsibilities you can give a person. And so. Having lived that life, it is difficult for me not to have faith. It, it is difficult for me to believe that we can't get over the challenges that we're faced with, that we can't have free college for everyone. We can't make sure that college is accessible to everyone, that we can't make sure that everyone in this country has access to health care. Having lived that life, and who would have thought that that would have happened 50 years ago? One would have had to be a visionary. And Bernie Sanders is that kind of visionary, in my opinion. The timing of this ad is very important. You live in Illinois, and it's a place where, like Michigan, Sanders could pull an upset. And the tightening race is one of the reasons we've seen Hillary Clinton and her husband there. She was, in fact, in Chicago today, appealing to the African-American community. She says she's the answer for jobs, for an improving economy. And as you know, I'm sure you followed the campaign, that message has resonated very strongly in the African-American community. Why do you think Bernie Sanders is the better choice? Because Bernie Sanders focuses on the source of all of our problems. You can't solve any of the problems if you see them as themselves the problems. They are symptoms of a larger problem. And the larger problem, as Bernie Sanders has pointed out, is an economy that concentrates wealth in the hands of a few. And the fact that those few then take that wealth and corrupt our political system to make it difficult for us to make changes that affect, positively affect the lives of all people or a great majority of people. And so you see that at play with jobs. You see that at play in health care. You see that at play with climate change. You see that source. You see that two-headed dragon at play. 
causing all of the problems and then corrupting our political system to keep us from solving those problems. And so Bernie Sanders focuses on the source, and his opponent has actually said he puts too much emphasis on the source. How can you solve a problem when you distract people from the source of the problems to keep their attentions on the their attention on the problem themselves? And so for my money, in my opinion, the way I've analyzed it, the only person who's actually looking at the source of the jobs crisis, the health care crisis, the climate change crisis, is Bernie Sanders. And his solution will actually tackle the source of those problems, which will enable us to actually use our government, use our political system to solve them. Thank you so much, Troy LaRevier, for being with us. We appreciate it. It's a pleasure, Chris. Thank you.